Welcome in this new tutorial of Angular 17. In this video, we're gonna see how to use Angular materials to make a login form. First of all, we need to uh, install Bootstrap package by running the command npm install Bootstrap. After that, we need to make some modification in the Angular JSON file by adding the path of Bootstrap CSS uh, file in the style array under the project property and we need to do that also under the test property here great so now let's jump to login component uh, in the html file and add mat card header here and inside it we add um, mat card title in which we put login as a title now in the IPP component, add a div tag. It's gonna serve like a container for the application using some bootstrap classes to uh, reduce the width. So here we can use P5 um, width 50 and MX02. Great. I think also MX02 class for the header here. Great. In the card content, we're gonna define our form. So use the mat form field to define uh, this field, uh, for example, for email field, and we're gonna use the mat label for the label. Input for defining the field value, and don't forget to add mat input for this uh, input tag. And finally, add the mat error tag. Uh, to show the error message, for example, if the field is required or the uh, email address, uh, it's not correct, for example. Now, let's jump to the TypeScript file in which we need to add some imports like the mat input module and the mat form field from materials input and materials field. And after that, we add this imports in the imports array for the component great now we need to implement the on init interface and inject in the constructor the form builder so the form builder is used to generate a, a form group now we need to define a new property called um, login form type of form group and before that, we need to make some changes in TS config file, like making um, the strict to false. And I think we need to add a new property here um, called strict uh, property initialization and set it to false in order to allow uh, to initialize a property without defining an initial value. So here we need to define the login form uh, property it will be equal to form builder dot group in which we're going to define the different fields of our form. So the first one is uh, the email field. Um, initialize it to an empty string and the second value will be the email validator. The second field is the password. Initialize it to an empty field and we have a list of validation validator here, the required and the mean length will be to uh, 12. Great, now let's move to the HTML uh, file and here we're gonna duplicate this div and we're gonna adapt the code for um, password. So we're gonna change the type of input to password and here to make the binding with the TypeScript, we need to define the form controller name so the first one is email and the second field will be for password like defined in the TypeScript. Great, now we need to define a getter for login form data and we're gonna return this dot login form dot controls. And we need to make some check here. ng, we're gonna use the ng if equal to login form data of email is invalid and if it's touched or it's a dirty um, input we're gonna raise this field um, this error field 
Great. Before that, we need to add the ng directive here. Import tool and put it in the imports of our component. Now, um, we need to define the form um, tag. So it will be encapsulating the mask card content. And we need to bind this form to the form group defined in the TypeScript. Great. Now we need to add some imports here also for form module and reactive form module. Put it uh, eventually in the imports for the component. So here we need to make some change the label here and we don't have a placeholder. Copying this condition of error and it will be the same thing for the password. So let's check. Yeah, it's working correctly. So here in the case of email, we have two kinds of errors, the required field and if the email is in incorrect format, so we need to show also another message. So let's duplicate this error message and put the required here. And before that, we need to change the property here. No property access from index signature to simplify the access of um, properties here and deleting the braces here. Great. Let's change the other conditions required. Cool. Let's encapsulate all this in a div. So here let's put a general condition in the div here. If there is any error or is invalid uh, form, touch it or dirty so we're going to show the required and the email error message great let's see it's required and if we put some incorrect so here we have the email is no valid nice for um the password here we have the same thing just we have the required message and the mean length so actually the mean length it's used for um, the sign up form just to show the capability of uh handling uh, validators here message error in the forms but you can do it in um, sign up forms so here let's change the style of the field appearance equal to outline and it's much prettier than the other style and here Maybe we need to extract this div of errors and put it outside the MATLAB. Yeah. After that, you can handle your CSS style as you wish. So you can make the same thing for the password. Now, for our login form, we need to add a new button um, to uh, make the login action. So let's. Uh, use a button here called login and we have also the directive mat button don't forget to um, add the mat button uh, module in the component imports and here you have the choice to make um, some uh, stocked button here and if you want to center the button in the middle so you can use the flex and some other justify um, uh, bootstrap um, class so that's all for today thank you and see you soon in the next video